Place your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. I want to thank God for fulfillment of prophecy by God's servant. This year, he declared it for us a supernatural shift. And I want to thank God because this year, God gave, granted me a miracle job and a miracle car. Hallelujah. I've come to say, Father, thank you. Because last year, he was talking about week of uh, uh, professions and all of that. Like next Sunday would be paramilitary week. I, I was like, God, which one did I belong to? Because I was jobless. I don't have anything. But when God said, oh, those of us that don't have job, we should come with our CV. I came with that CV and he prayed on it. This year, God has done it for me. I've come to give glory to God for what he has done for me. Praise the Lord. God gave him a job and gave him a befitting car. Your name and your testimony. My name is Naomi Ua. Good morning, church. I, before I joined this commission, I used to suffer from depression, as in serious depression. I run away from my house I, because of fear. I look for a way to sleep, frustration, asthma, high BP. But immediately I joined this commission and got a department and rooted there. I want to thank God because everything has checked back to hell. I want to also thank God during our prayer and fasting, 21 days prayer and fasting in January, God, I've been trusting God for a better job and a job that will give me peace of mind. And God has blessed me with a federal government job. I want to give God all the glory. I also want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank God for the prophetic auction upon this, upon this altar. I want to thank God because I, I, I so much have faith and confidence in myself now than before. To God receive, to God be all the glory. If those hands are for Jesus, it can be greater and greater and better. Your name, sir, and your testimony. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Brohat Israel. I'm here to give God the praise for the activation of my 3D shift and also to this commission. Some years back, this commission sent a pastor down to Baga, which is one of where I serve as a military personnel. And that pastor came there, and some of us saw him, and we said, he just that, he will tire. At the end of the day, we got tired. Praise the Lord. At a point in time, that was the first time ever I could see somebody who could pray five hours every day for more than a year. I have never seen that before. And because of his character, some of us decided to follow Christ. I'm here to give God praise because at a point in time, I was one among the first persons that gained healing through that pastor, through that man of God. And I'm here to thank God today because last week, on my expectation slip on the number six, I asked that I'll be, I should have favor from God to be shifted financially. I want to thank God because on Thursday last week, somebody called me in my office. And before then, to say, before then, there was this incident that happened down there. And during one of that pastor's prayer at 2 a.m. in the midnight, he came out and said, God said, he is going to overtake and recover. Praise the Lord. We had an incident where everything within one of our locations were taken away. But based on that prophecy on that morning, even the money, raw cash we left in our uniforms were recovered. Even that of the enemy was recovered. And because of that, we that follow Christ came back alive. Last week, my organization called me and asked for my details. I knew not why I was called, but about seven hours later, I was asked to report to Abuja for a particular course that would elevate me permanently financially. And at the end of the day, brethren, I am staying in a place in Abuja where if I was to use my salary for feeding, the whole of my salary in six days it will be finished but my organization paid all of this free of charge 
And after that course, I will be elevated financially. I'm not taking it for granted. Praise the Lord. Somebody give Jesus an awesome shout of praise. The details are a bit masked, but it's an awesome testimony. And I want to announce to you here today that where you find yourself, you shall be an inspiration to those that are working with you and those working under you. If you believe it, shout a loud amen. 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 Your name and your testimony, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Wilson Sunama. I'm here to return all the glory to the Almighty God who preserved my life. Today, exactly seven days, we were coming back from Kaduna. We have a fatal accident. But I give God the glory. During the accident, all I know, I just find myself going somewhere. Uh, next thing I know, I, find, I saw an angel through the mantle of this commission. That is our father in the Lord. He said, my son, where are you going to? Go back. Who will take care of your family? Immediately, I return back. Next thing I found myself in a stretcher in the hospital. As I come back, they say I was being in coma for three hours. And uh, immediately, I, I was having bruises. But immediately, the mantle said, come back. All the bruises disappear. They have even announced that I am dead in my village. People start greeting my, my mother. But thank God, I'm alive. Anybody that saw the accident, they couldn't believe uh, that we are the one that come out from the accident. So I return all the glory to God in Jesus' name. Our, bro Go on. Our brother was involved in a ghastly motor accident. You are going to see the ruin of the car right now. You see the blood even on the ground right there. So he was in coma for three hours and he said he was departing to an unknown destination. In that course of journey, the senior pastor appeared and said, hold on, where are you going my to? My son, where my, are you going? My son, where are you going to? Who will take, take care, care of, of your, your family? family. Yeah. Go, back. Go back. Go back. He said before that time, he had injuries, every other thing on his body. But when he, that was declared and he returned back to his body, everything disappeared and he recovered look at is this part of this if you look at what is under his eye now in some cases it might be indications of fractures on the base of the skull okay terrible ghastly accident he has had out of his body already on the way but by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he preserved. My son, where are you going? Who will take care of your family? Come back to your body. Look at the family, his wife and children. Who will take care of them? Turn back. And he turned back. And as he woke up in the hospital, all the bruises had disappeared. I'm sure this other one was left to remind him that he had an accident. Who is your father? What mantle is over your life? Who will interrupt your journey? When you are taking a journey that is not correct and taking a journey that is premature, it is very important for this heart-to-heart -heart connection, for God to know, for angels to know, for the demons to know, who can step in and interrupt the agenda of wickedness. But for everybody under this cover, I prophesy to you, every journey organized for you that is not for on your, your time, that journey is arrested. You will not die before your time. You will fulfill your days. You, your brothers, your relations, Everyone connected, associated, related with you, they shall fulfill their days. If you believe that, say the loudest amen. And tell the person next to you, tell them you shall fulfill your days. And then you might be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Now let's listen to the testimony of Sister Joy. Your name and your testimony. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Joy Amadaji. 
I want to testify for Almighty God on last month on uh, worship and wonder night. My son, he did Abi Uzaria. After closing worship and word that night, and I see another after closing shows, I did the glory uh, dove gate. She now called me. I see another line said to call me. I said, Who oh, go call me by this time? I don't want to pick the call. Later, after he called me more than four times, I now pick the call. He can't be my son. He said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, Yes, what you happen? Hey, no, what you happen? He go call me by this time. He now tell me, say, He did the hand of a boca around full and he helps me. I said, Devil, you are a bastard. So after they now hold him, they carry him set to walk to enter the, the road. He start to play the, the music, set to worship for the music. That the picture there for, for in picture. One, he, he, he got to divide the instead. I don't know how they'll do because he'll be an accountant. Now you know how he could do that one. So later, he now call me. They now collect the phone, collect the Bible, collect the anointing oil. Now throw the Bible away. Carry the phone, put it inside the, their pocket. They try all me to off the phone. They know if he off the phone. The music continue. All the way go to collect the anointing oil. Yeah. The anointing oil now fall for, fall for their body. They say, oh yeah, the money when you get the money when you get inside her pocket. They collect the money, collect everything. They say, make you pray the last prayer. He said, no, you can't pray the last prayer. And the daddy of the Lord said, it, it shall be no loss. It shall be no loss. He said, you can never die premature death for this 2020 in Jesus' name. He said to pray and said to speak it on. Later, they said to carry the dagger, pull for his neck. Said to carry him, follow him, enter the, the bush. Or they went go to the bush. As an anointing come for, for, for one of them, for body. This one, after they not read the bush, this one say kill. This one say no kill, you two kill her. They start to do argument. They start to face themselves. They start to kill themselves. Let them face themselves. Let them kill. Are you just sitting like that? Come, Balabaya. Are they? Praise the Lord. At the end of the day, they not carry, after they carry the phone, they not feel kill him. They carry the collect the phone, collect the Bible. Later, one, one of them now go the place where they throw the Bible and throw it. They are not, uh, they are, uh, uh, anointing oil. They are not, me, we anointing oil. Don't throw it, finish. They now carry the bottle of anointing oil. Carry the Bible. Carry a can't give him. He now collect his time. He just fold in hand, said to look. They said to black speaking tongue. He said, it can never be workers of dunamis. And he come, any temptation, she come with almighty God. He said, fight in battle. He said to pray. From there, they're not giving the phone back. They're not giving the, uh, the Bible back. So when God asked him, say, who they inside this picture? He said, who be this? He said, the daddy of the Lord, Pastor Paul, and I said, hey, now this man be this. They carry the phone. I carry the Bible. I give my daughter back. I don't want to take the grand test. I want to appreciate almighty God. Now this man be this. Yes, Daddy, this is all the way from Zaria. The testimony happened in Zaria. All those who will not let Nigeria rest, they will face each other. And they will finish each other. From the top down, they will face each other. And they will finish each other. Every killer in this nation, they will face each other. And they will finish each other. Everyone who will not allow us to rest in Nigeria, you will face yourself. You will finish yourself. All the killers will face themselves. We curse the spirit of jihad, the spirit of terrorism. We curse you with fire in the name of Jesus. The anointing poured on their body. And they, and they have not recovered. They will not recover. As they started to face each other, it will continue in their camps. Terrorists against terrorists. Terrorist sponsor against terrorism sponsor. It will continue until the land is free from the hands of killers. The same way that the Amalekites face the Ammonites and they face the Edomites. All the people that came against Jehoshaphat, so shall they face themselves in this nation. Who those who will not allow us to rest, they shall finish themselves. In a short while from now, we shall hear their news of them finishing each other. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout power. Power. 